Leading royal biographer Andrew Morton expressed his surprise at seeing the Dukes of York and Sussex retaining the position of councillors of state despite no longer being full-time working royals. The author of the newly released biography The Queen Told Express.co.uk The one thing I am very surprised about is that Prince Harry and Prince Andrew, as non-working royals, not allowed on the balcony for the Queen's Jubilee, are still councillors of state. Given the fact that the Queen has been regularly incapacitated, given the fact that Prince Charles and Prince William travel abroad to support the Crown, there will come a point in the not-too-distant future where there may be a necessity for councillors of state and William and Charles are out of the country. So it would be left to Harry and Andrew, which is not what you want. If I was Buckingham Palace now it'd be drawing up their resignation letters. Mr. Morton, who famously penned in 1992 a groundbreaking biography of Princess Diana while being secretly helped by the Princess of Wales, said it is quite feasible to have both William and Charles at the same time outside of the country for royal duties, given their prominent position within the firm and the reduced number of working royals able to travel abroad to represent the Queen. A similar scenario, he said, would currently trigger the drafting of the other two councillors of state if the Queen was incapacitated to undertake her official duties. This, Mr. Morton said, would be just a ludicrous state of affairs.